We're at the Holy Ground site, which is a really pivotal um, event in the Creek War of 1813-14. Right after the uh, attack on Fort Mims, Josiah Francis, and then came back here, this was a town that was built by the Red Stick Prophet Josiah Francis. It was considered sacred ground. You know, the bullets wouldn't come through here, and the ground would open up and swallow up the enemy, that kind of thing. And so, what we're doing is we are excavating here, and. Um, this site was not occupied by the Creek Indians, but for six or seven months. And uh, during this time period, though, there was a large uh, uh, contingent of uh, Native Americans here, the Creeks, and they did leave an archeological footprint behind. Being able to dig on a historic site, um, for me anyways, is rare at Troy because most of our stuff is prehistory because we just do surveys and we just find prehistoric artifacts. So um, a historic site is really neat to do for us. If you find stuff by hand that pops out and you think it might get like kneeled on or something, a little trick is we can put a little pink tape under the artifact. <laughs> this site, <clears throat> um, is extremely rare when it comes to archaeological sites uh, in the Black Belt region. Um, as best as we can tell, this site has never ever been plowed for agriculture. Most uh, land in central Alabama um, had been heavily plowed uh, for cotton agriculture all the way from uh, the uh, um, early 1800s to the present day. So you got these nice big pieces of pottery, they're brush pottery. This is Chattahoochee, this, we call this Chattahoochee brushed pottery. This site so far has yielded quite a few artifacts that are specific to that time period. As the artifacts we're finding are right near the surface of the ground. This is the original ground surface. But at most archeological sites, um, the top 30 centimeters, the top foot and a half of soil or so, has been churned and turned over uh, by a plow. And uh, all of that information is essentially uh, mixed and uh, very difficult to, uh, um, to learn from. But at this site, um, everything is pristine. It's right there, right at the ground surface. Um, and so we can find things pretty much as they were left uh, when the uh, uh, site was abandoned in 1813. Okay, this is extremely important uh, for students. Um, for one thing, this is a rare opportunity to be able to dig on a site like this. Um, <clears throat> but also, this is actual archeology. span This is what we do. We're in the field, we are systematically uh, removing the soil and looking at the artifacts in the ground as they uh, come out or as they were left behind. And so, by carefully piece plotting all of these artifacts together, we can see patterns like how houses were arranged. We're really blessed to be able to do this kind of work because a lot of this work is what we hope to do one day. So to be able to actually go out and volunteer and have experience, to be able to put that on a resume is just an incredible opportunity. We literally um, lay a grid across the entire piece of land and uh, um, imagine if you will a piece of graph paper um, laid across the land and so the land is uh, now uh, got imaginary squares uh, covering the whole place and we dig within those squares this is why archaeologists dig square holes and by digging in those squares okay we can tell you exactly where the artifacts come from and recreate this archaeological site 
on paper and actually uh, show you uh, what it would have looked like back in time. So for me, my interest in this as a Forch Creek is that uh, this is family, this is family uh, conflict area right here. Like at this site, I come here, when I first came here, it's very emotional for me because I feel things here. But at the same time, what we're seeing and discovering, one great example is these uh, cabins they're discovering, these log cabins. Mm -hmm. Years ago, I found a lithograph of a cabin and I had that replicated inside our museum at Porch. And people said, why are you doing that? I said, well, this is what we lived in. It's kind of an in-between, a creek house and a log cabin. It's, it's a transitional thing. Well, this, for the first time ever, they have found such a cabin here, which proves that we made cabins that way and we actually have physical proof now. Mm -hmm.